Right, learners, for the next paper in March, we had the following questions. The author photo map shows a high resolution. Explain the term resolution. Now, first of all, if you look at your mind map that you have to deal or you're going to draw up, resolution means only one thing. It is the ability of the remote sensor, the, rem the remotely sensor on a satellite, that sensor's ability to create a sharp and a clear image. So in this case, we can actually see individual features on the orthophoto map. Right, so that is your, your, your answer there is for resolution to explain it. It means that that concept there, it is to the creation of a sharp and clear image. Give evidence that the author photo map has a high resolution. But why? Because we can see individual features here. Uh, not visible with the human eye is it consists of many, many pixels and the pixels must be very, very small. So what I'm going to show you there, if it was not a high resolution, your um, product or the, resolu or the um, uh, author photo map, you would have seen just the individual pixels or very, a very unclear and not a, a sharp image. Right, so therefore, uh, just because we can identify individual small geographic features, it's the, it, it gives us the, uh, the, the, the ability to, to work with it, and therefore it's classified as a high-resolution image. Now, what can one say about the author photo map uh, as, an, as an example, or why can one say that the author photo map is an example of raster data? Obviously, because it's a, a digital image, and then what I've shown you here, uh, although they're not going to show this in the exam, the, you must be able to, to relate it to, to pixels. And because raster data is con made up by number and thousands and hundreds of pixels. Right. That was also an easy question. Now, due to the increase of farming in Block A, the possibility of increased erosion is very likely. The local municipality can use remote sensing to assess the impact of erosion on the dam. Explain the term remote sensing. So first of all, there's the concept for this problem here. Now, what is remote sensing? Remote sensing, we know, I've told you it's a satellite. So what we do is, it is, it is the, the use of a satellite or any other remote or a sensing instrument. Um, looking at from a distance, detecting features. So in other words, the, 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 to, to give a, a very um, um, a short definition, it is the, 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 the detection or the observation of geographic um, features on the Earth's surface by means of a satellite or a sensor on a satellite. And then, if you want to actually impress the examiner or the marker there, all you need to do is to write also without being in contact with the object. So remember, it's always from a distance. Right, and then explain how the local municipality will use remote sensing to monitor the negative impact of the increased erosion on the dam. If we look at this, there is the, it is the collection of information of the Earth's surface from a distance by means of satellites. I've also said uh, without being in contact. Right, for the last one, that is that satellites will continuously take photos of the area at different times. So that means we've got, uh, we can actually uh, uh, detect. When we compare the photos, we can see the expansion of the erosion. We can see the impact of the erosion. And then also photos can be used to analyze the impact of the erosion. You only needed to, to mention two of, of these uh, answers there. But remember, you can also, if you think there's others that you can actually think of, please do not hesitate. Don't stop and then just leave a, a, a question unanswered. Write down anything that you can actually think. You probably will hit the jackpot and then uh, you can score a, a nice two marks there. Right. Now what we're going to do, it's also similar to the, the, the first qu uh, question paper. You have a choice between two sites on which to build a shopping mall. First of all, at uh, site T, 
Here we can see it's a lot of uh, contours, steep contours, so it's against the slope, and it's also behind an, a, 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 a small mountain there. And then what we do here, or can see here, is the, the northeast or northwestern part of Queenstown. And then also here we got that nature reserve. So in other words, to reach it, we have to go and find a route there. So it's a little bit far away from Queenstown. The other one is at uh, um, location U, where we got, it's very close to Queenstown. So the, the question here is to give or to identify two data layers, evident from the topographic map that you would use to assist you in making your choice. Right, first of all, we're going to look at infrastructure, the national road, uh, the N6 is in, in, um, also in the vicinity of U, but not in at location T. Then, if we look at the topography, at U we got flatland, at T we got uh, against the U. And then also we can look at the land use. In this case, there's a open space there, uh, which is a uh, most viable place. And it's also nearer to the market, okay, to get goods here. And it's also closer to, to Queenstown. And it's also close to the residential areas. And it's also in a open space. So if you, if you have to make a, a decision of which of the two sites, your choice would probably not be T, but then U. And U will then be the letter U here, or location U, will be then the answer to this question. Right, then the last one there is again on the plan view of Queenstown is an example of data integration. So data integration is the concept for this question. Explain the term, the term data integration. Now learners, what is data integration? What is integration? Integration means to put two things together, to integrate it. So in that case, we take data of different sets and we integrate it, we put them together to create new information. Right, and then also name two sources that could have been used to obtain information to produce this sketch map, and then also state one problem for a cartographer when he or she was producing this sketch map. Now, two sources in this case, and remember it is only a sketch map, so we might have been using the, the topographical map on its own scale, one to 50,000, and then an orthophoto map, which, was, uh, which will probably be on 1 to 10,000 scale, and then satellite photographs, which will probably be something into something like 1 is to 200 to 50,000 scale, and then aerial photographs that can range from 1 to 30,000 up to 1 to 100,000 scale. So, in, but in this, why I mention the scale is because that's going to lead to the next um, question. But any two of these, you can either use a topographic map or an orthophoto map, or the satellite photographs, or aerial photographs, to draw that sketch map. Now, the one problem that you can think of that a cartographer would have when producing this sketch map is using maps with different scales, getting the scale accurate, getting the shapes of the features correct, and then using maps with different map projections. Now, learners, these are the, 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 the two exam papers with their questions, and all I was, uh, wanted to, to show you this afternoon is to go through the answers of the questions, and all those answers would have been able to, to write down with the aid of the mind map of your concepts and small little information that you add to it, and then also the... Um, uh, downloaded um, mind map that I'm going to show you now where you can get that. Right. Then also, for those of you who are interested, there's um, a free GIS software package, Quantum GIS, that you can get from this website. You can go and download it, it at www.qgis.co.za. So it's for free, and if it's too large, you ask your teacher or the school to download it and then distribute it to you, because it also comes with it um, on that same site with data. Then also, this is more or less how that uh, mind map, the visual one that I've been referring you to, looked like, and then you can get that for free also at the following website, www.cartographics, remember it's F-I-X, 
www.ecofinancebusiness.co.za and then all you need to do is to click at the um, yellow blocks at the, on the, on the right-hand side, top right, and then use the English link to get yourself an English summary. Right, and that brings us, if we quickly have a look at some of the, the questions here. Um, first of all, I know we haven't got too much time left over. If we look at this, what is the definition of buffering? Remember, buffering is a um, nothing else than where you want to keep something in or something out from a specific feature. So buffering is a zone that is created around a specific geographic feature. All right, and then um, remember, like I've said, uh, if you look at your previous um, presentation, um, you will then um, be able to see the whole presentation where each and every of these um, concepts were explained or was explained. The next one here is what is, a re what is resolution? Remember we said resolution is the, the way that we, we, we describe the, the, the quality of the image. And the resolution relates directly to pixel size. So the larger the pixels, the, the worse the resolution is going to be. So resolution is the ability of the sensor to create a sharp and crystal clear image and to identify objects. Right, and then also we got something, some learners here from Ports and Johns. Hey, that's very far. And then also uh, I see there's a question here from Lutando uh, where he asked whether we can email him the PowerPoint. The PowerPoints are also put on the, the, the website of the telematics. Please ask your, your teacher to go and have a look at the um, telematics website. It was also right in the beginning. It was shown on the, uh, on the first slide just before the session started. I don't know if it's possible whether when the moment I sign off here is to ask them to probably to put up that uh, website again. I'm not sure when it's going to be able, whether they're going to be able to do that, but let's hope. Right, but also ask your teacher to get it. It's easy. You can go and Google it and then ask the, the, the school to go and, and get it for you. Right, and then uh, one or two up WhatsApps. I know our um, time is up. Right. Let me see, how can we create a spur? Okay, no, that is um, part of the map work. I'm not going to deal with that. How does GIS um, manipulate data? Remember, manipulation means that you can change or alter. You can add information. And I think from your question probably came through before we even looked at, at data integration and manipulation. All these questions from the exam paper were all questions about data manipulation. The moment you start using information to create new information, that's all data manipulation. Right. And then, therefore, I thank you for this afternoon's your attention and then best wishes with the exams. And uh, I do not know whether we will be able to see that um, last slide or the very first slide, where the, or not the slide, that uh, um, screen of the university with that information. Uh, best of luck with your exams. Keep well.